I don't want to say blatantly or boldly that the blacks are afraid of the Mexicans, the Southern United Raza, because the program, the program itself is so structured that it just shows superiority, it shows dominance. The blacks is different. You got the Bay. The Bay don't really like, they don't like the Crips and Blood things. They don't at all. They don't. According to history, um, the blacks did have a lot of dominance in prison at one point before the, the rise of the um, of the legends. The brothers, they're deep too in prison, but they don't have a lot of brothers with their hands raised ready to go, being obedient about it. When it comes to the raza, excluding the Nortes, let's exclude the Norteños. Now. I'm just talking about the Pisces and the Southsiders. There's way too many people that are willing to go head on, ready to go crash. I don't think the blacks are scared. I just, I just don't feel they have the the, the enough bombs. Um, You know, before we get to the video though, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, man. That's very important. You gotta hit the notification button so when I drop a video, you get reminded of it, right? Boom, you click on it. You know what I'm saying? You get to hear some raw shit though, because it's real. Like I said, it's entertainment. I'm an entertainer, but the acting is real. No sucker shit over here, man. And no fake prison stories, no fake YA stories, no fake street stories. Like I said, too many people know me for me to be lying up here, man. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Anyhow, look, man. Back to the shit. Oh. Somebody said that the blacks were scared of the Mexicans. Oh. I've never... I've never heard anybody say that. I've never heard anybody say that, that the blacks were scared of the Mexicans. I think each faction has been outnumbered or has been caught up outnumbered and I'm sure each faction has tasted, I don't want to use the word defeat, but more or less, I want to say each faction has taken a loss versus another faction, right? Um, we know that black versus brown in prison is tough, especially the Southsiders from Southern California. <laughs> And where the upstate Southsiders follow, follow suit, and the Paisas from everywhere follow suit when it comes to that type of issue in prison. So, when we know the severity, we know how deep and how uh, how the black and brown, black versus brown versus brown in prison, it shook up the industry, man. It shook up California shook up the nation pretty much because it, a lot of that stuff rolls over to the feds you know like in the feds it's the same shit mexicans and blacks are at a distance right or well, i mean there's some type of communication as usual but there's no mingling there's no uh, there's no bus and spreads there ain't no hanging out there ain't nothing to this shit man you know what i'm saying but i want to say that um Everybody's been on the losing end, right? But I, I, I will say that, and this is not me being biased, I want to say that, I want to say that the Southsiders, because of their numbers, because of their numbers, because of the structure, the obediency. Is that even a word? Obedience. There it is. 
obediency, because of obediency. Because the rasa, we respect our chain of command. You know what I'm saying? Well, you have to. If you don't respect the chain of command, right? So what I'm saying is that we respect, we're obedient when asked to do something, right? <laughs> so because of our structure, because of our unity, Southern United Rasa, and the Paisas and the Border Brothers from Oakland, but mostly Paisas, <laughs> are like this with the South Shatters when it comes to these type of uh, issues, when it comes to these type of dilemmas. When it comes to these type of issues, dilemmas, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to these type of problems, the Paisas and the South Shatters are going to roll super tight on this one, right? That and the unity be with all the Southside gangs. <laughs> there is no gangs in there. At least when I was going through prison, it wasn't about your gang. It was about the Rasa, your Rasa, right? <clears throat> um, and the blacks are, are separated. Like, I wanna say, they unite when it comes to these, when it comes to these type of events, brown versus black, black versus brown, however you wanna word it. Whenever you see these type of issues, um, the Mexicans are more united. They're um, the structure and the um, the coordination of being able to come together and and forget the street shit. So, and with the with the blacks, they got Crips and Bloods. So there's a big line in between, even though they unite, even though all the blacks come together, but the Crips and the Bloods, they have different, um, they got different, uh, they got their own shits, right? See, the thing with the Crips and the Bloods, they got their own thing, right? Yeah, when it's racial, they all get together. But, I, but they're not as united as the Southsiders. Because all the gangs from L.A. in there, when you used to hate your enemy, and there you're going to love your enemy, pretty much. Especially if you're on the hole together, which you probably are. Or you're on the same tier, more than likely you're on a tier with, with your enemy. Or somebody close enough, right? But they don't look at it like that in prison. We don't. Paisas don't. The Border Brothers from Oakland, we don't. We didn't beef with a few Southsiders on the street from upstate. But in there, they sell us up with them on a level four, and it's like this. It's all love. And with me, it's been like that since CYA. And with a few of my partners that went through the YA system. But <clears throat> what I'm saying is, I don't want to say blatantly or boldly that the blacks are afraid of the Mexicans. Because I don't think that's the case. Um... I just think that the Mexicans and the Mexican, the Southern United Raza, the program, the program itself is so structured that it just shows superiority, it shows dominance, especially when you got the numbers. So you got all these souls, you got thick, and they're all following orders. They're all following instructions. You're not going to get a group of South Siders that's going to say, no, we're not going to participate. That's not our beef. No. Southern United Rasa. They really live up to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, and then with the blacks, it's different. You got the Bay. The Bay don't really like, they don't like the Crips and Blood things. They don't at all. They don't. And I'm noticing how a lot of Crips and Bloods are pretty much having a Bay Area swag type of style. I don't see Crips and Bloods in them no more. I don't see Crip and Blood in them no more. I see more of a Bay style uh, culture down here in LA with the brothers. Right? I know they still Crips and Bloods, but I see more of a Bay Area get down, to be honest with you. So in prison, the Bay Area, they don't, 
They're kind of like on their own. They're, yeah, they're, they're more tight with the Bloods because you got Sacramento, right? You got a few Bloods in Stockton. So the Bay, they pretty much, they try to stay away from all the, the game banging uh, issues, right? Or, or, you know, the stuff, that type of shit, right? They got their own shit. They got, you know, the Kumis, BGF and all that, whatever. They got Legends too, right? But as far as unity as one, as one unit to go up against another faction, um, <clears throat> it's, it's, they're not united like that. And just for the simple fact that they, a, it's a color, it's a color barrier. You got a color barrier with the blacks in LA, which I'm, I'm assuming that nowadays, because of the way life is with all the social media, um, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming like the most, the, the, the Crip and Blood stuff is kind of like, it's, 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 it's a black thing in prison, a LA thing or whatever. I don't know what they, how they do it, but I do know that they are Crips and there's our Bloods. And that right there is the problem. That right there is where there's a d division and there is no divisions w within the South Side car or the Rasa car, especially when it comes to issues like that. There is no division. There is no, look, 18th Street is over here, Florencia is over here. We're not, you might get, hang out with your boys in prison together, but you're not in there acting like it's all about Florence versus, and, and they're not over there, it's all about 18. No, it's all about the Rasa, right? No, so there is no line. There is no color barrier. There is no language barrier. There is no. Uh, there's nothing that prevents the rasa from sticking together, full fledged, full throttle, on go. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked. Obediency. That's where there's the difference. From what I see. That's where the difference is at between the blacks and brown, black and brown in prison. I feel like, according to history, um, the blacks did have a lot of dominance in prison at one point before the, the rise of the, um, of the legends, of the Emmy, right? Um, the brothers had, um, they were thick in prison, especially like in San Quentin. That's all Bay Area. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's Oakland background. Backyard, right? So like Old Folsom and these these legendary prisons, um, like Folsom, Tracy, St. Quentin, them prisons, um, Vacaville, all them prisons house a lot of Bay Area people, a lot of Bay Area inmates. Whether they're Mexican or black, it don't matter, but they house a lot of Bay Area, that's reception. Um, <coughs> So, you know, at one point, those prisons were full of African Americans, and they would take advantage of um, of certain rasa. The rasa didn't have a, didn't have any organizations up there. There wasn't there weren't structure. There wasn't any type of um, nothing had been established. Um, something as tight as the legends did. From down that way, You're like uh, when they talk about um, dude from Bakersfield, uh, the dude they made the movie about, man, Santana. But the original character they were talking about, um, forgot his name, but um, Cheyenne, right? Um, so when that movement, that generation, um, kind of put a stamp on the prison yards and let it be known throughout the state of California, throughout CDC, that we're here, man. That's what they said. We're here. Um, and we ain't taking no shit. And we smashing on shit. We stepping on shit, right? Um, and then, you know, as you already know, the, the legends from up north, they, they, you know, made their own shit, right? And then, you know, the Bulldog story and all that, right? So... Only thing I'm saying is that the unity part, even though when like when we have the north and south stuff, there's a color barrier right there. Right? But what I'm saying is 
when it comes to the raza, excluding the Nortes. Let's exclude the Norteños then. I'm just talking about the Pisces and the Southsiders. When it comes to that right there, there's way too many people that are willing to go head on. Ready to go crash. Countless of people that are ready to do that amongst that, amongst the Rasa, right? And the unity behind it. This is basically what I'm trying to say, that there's so much unity and so much love that's um, shown amongst the Rasa in prison, especially when the two homies know each other or you're there with somebody from your barrio or whatever, the unity. I'm, I'm still amazed on how the unity is and how the love is spread amongst the active ones, right? Am amongst the ones that are still getting down and being a part of the cause and still representing the love that's being spread. And people always say, oh, it's false propaganda. They're, they're, they're making, they're using all those crash dummies and you're following the bad leadership and, and all kind of bullshit, right? So, um, but for those that are up there programming, right, um, they, um, Yeah, and I, and I want to say that the leadership, they carry a lot of weight, right? They do. Even though it has lost that aura, that, that suspense, that feeling has kind of erased when it comes to prison politics. <coughs> it kind of has erased in the streets in the streets of California, like Edgar's and, a, and some of these gang members from this generation, they don't fear, they don't fear and they don't, um, they don't have that respect. They might respect it, but they don't have that full respect for the legends, I wanna say, for that program. They don't, um, they're not respecting that real gang, gang shit, right? That real bar shit, right? It ain't until they get to prison till they find out, right? But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I might have went off track, but that's the difference right there to me is that the, the Vasa is more united and they got more people with their hands raised, ready to go, not caring, um, and obediency, um, stand tall and, and and we're not afraid to take orders. I get, I think sometimes we're, sometimes we want to take orders. I mean, not lie, some people want to take orders because they, they want to they be able to say that so-and-so told them to do that, right? And so-and-so fucks with you now because you went and did a holiday for him, right? So, you know, you know how it goes. You know what the fuck I'm saying. So, um, and I just feel like the brothers, they don't have that much influence over their younger peers. They don't, um, the, um, the only way that the African American, the African Americans in prison, when they have money and they're, they're known to have money on the streets, they have a little bit more pull with the younger community. The brothers, they're deep too in prison, but they don't have a lot of brothers with their hands raised, ready to go, being obedient about it, not questioning about it, not 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 caring, just ready to go crash. Because um, that's what y'all gonna call it, all oh, y'all crash dummies, whatever. No, I'm just saying that within the Rasa, there's just too many people there's just too many bombs. That's that's another way I could put it. There's too many bombs. Um, and the African Americans, they don't have a lot of bombs. Uh, they don't lot of, have a lot of suicide inmates over there. You know, and, that, and that's kind of logical. It's, um, I'm just using, the, um, I don't want to say metaphor, but I'm just trying to use logic, um, logically speaking, or whatever you say it. I'm just, you know, using the, um, I'm just using other terms, right? Um, 
And I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying, right? Um, as a matter of fact, there's a lot of brothers that don't even want to participate, right? So, like, if, let's just say, the brothers over here are Crips, they got beef with the Southsiders, you're going to have a lot of resistance from the other cars that ain't Crips that be like, man, come on, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Fuck, that's on them, man. You're going to have a lot of resistance like that. See, and you don't have those type of resistance on the brown side, on the south side, or the paisa side. We don't have those type of issues when it comes to getting down versus others. Not not others, the car, but other people in general, right? Anyhow, um, leave your comments in the comment section. Um, I don't think the blacks are scared. I just I just don't feel they have the, the, the enough bombs, um, like. Like the brown car, the, the Rasa, you know, there's there's too many bombs over there. There's too many, like I said, when I say bombs, is you got a bunch of dudes over there with their hands raised, ready to go. You know, say ready to go. You know what I mean? So, anyhow, with that being said, man, you already know what it is. Oh, oh stay tuned to the next video. The next video is going to be about will the blacks uh, ever get along in LA? Will there ever will they ever be able to be like, you know, like a Texas or like a like a like a Oakland, like a Bay Area? I don't know. Is that it that way? I hope so. You already know what it is, man. Janet Diesel, man. I'm gone.